Hello and welcome to today's Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review. I believe that you're expectant and believing God for a word today. Our topic today is the authority of believers. The authority of believers, such an exciting topic. Our memory verse is taken from Jeremiah 1 verse 10, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, and it says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdom to root out and pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant come on so exciting this is god's um authority this is god's word to every believer because every believer has an assignment and your assignment is to root out pull down destroy throw down to build and to plant jeremiah 1 verse 10. now we'll take our bible reading from jeremiah chapter 1 verse 7 to 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 7 to 10. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build and to plant. Hallelujah. You are formidable. Nobody can stop you in the mighty name of Jesus. Say nobody can stop me in the mighty name of Jesus. Malabo Shadaba. Can we pray in the Holy Ghost for the next few minutes? Manda brata bada gada ba zeke tepe de gede bo ze prata bada gada ba in brata bada ba zeke tepe de gede bo jala pranda baza gada ba ora katam bada gada ba zeke tepe de gede bo in Jesus name we have prayed Amen. Power, particularly one given by God, is sweet. However, there's something sweeter than power, and that is authority. When God gives you authority, you become a small God in your own right. See, power, all men have power. All men, saved, unsaved. All men, and we see that people have economic power, people have spiritual power, that people will exercise demonic power. It's just power in every man. Because scripture says that the power of life and death is where? It's in the tongue. The power of life and death is in the mouth of everyone. But you see, not all men have authority. Mm -mm. Authority means that you have legalized power. It means that you're recognized by the ruling authorities. It means that you're recognized by constituted authority. So yes, I may have the intelligence to control traffic. I may know how to. But if I'm not wearing the uniform, if I'm not um, a traffic warden, I don't have a right to stop vehicles. They can knock me off if I stand in the middle of the road. But a man who just joined, who just started controlling traffic today, who is authorized by the state, can stand in the middle of the road and stop a big, huge truck from moving. And stop people driving, stop CEOs, stop medical doctors, and say, this is how the traffic is going to run today. I may know how to force a door open i may even have a key to open the door but if it's not my house if i'm not authorized to open that door i cannot open the door if i do then i'll be penalized and punished for opening the door forcefully so as believers we are the ones who have authority in this realm we are the ones who have authority. God, Jesus has given us authority. He has given us power to trample upon snakes and serpents. He has given us authority. He said, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You have authority. When you speak to, when you declare a thing, heaven must align. Hell must bow. Says at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that who Jesus is Lord. Every time you exercise the authority, the power in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Tongues must confess that Jesus is Lord. Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh 
and Aaron thy brother shall, shall be thy prophet. Shall be thy prophet. Let's look at Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases over all devils and to cure diseases exercise your authority. you cannot fulfill the mandate of god for your life without exercising your authority because you're definitely going to meet resistance you cannot attract compel the resources that you need to execute the mandate without exercising your authority you cannot protect your children without exercising your authority you can't provide for your family without exercising your authority you cannot exercise uh, um, a live a life superior to the system of this world without exercising authority because you can and you should be exempted from the things that happen in this world that do not favor the agenda of god for your life god needs you to walk in the authority has given to you stop sleeping on your authority stop the small mindedness you are authorized you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are the city that has been set upon the hill that cannot be eaten. That's who you are. Walk in your authority. Walk in your authority. God has assigned territories into your hands. You have entrusted with a mountain of influence, a mountain of education, politics, family, religion. You have been sent to your family. You are the promised child your parents prayed for. And you cannot deliver the promise without exercising your authority. Stop all this. Oh, I don't want to trouble the devil so that he doesn't mind dear. See, from the time you gave your life to Christ, the enemy marked you an enemy. So you can either become an easy target for him or you put him in his place. He, he's not joking. He knows what God can do through one man that is anointed. You carry the Holy Ghost. You may not be aware of how much God can do through you, but the devil is aware and he's not acting ignorant. So you stop playing ignorant. Stop it. Exercise authority. Resist the devil. He will flee. Take your place. Stop tolerating the things that do not make you happy. Sometimes God is, God is looking at us and saying, well, really, when you're tired of the unpleasant situation, you would exercise the authority I've given to you. When you're tired of the enemy playing with your joy, your peace of mind, well, then you would open your mouth and exercise the authority I've given to you. You are waiting on God, but God is waiting on you. You are saying God when. God is saying when you are ready. Because he has given you the authority. He has given you the power. Angels are waiting for you to just release a word. Your angels are waiting for you. Some of us, our angels are bored. They are just like, guy, can you please just give us something to do? Angels are waiting for your command. Open your mouth today and begin to declare. I want us to exercise our authority right now. And begin to make declarations. Say, I'm blessed of God. I am highly favored. I lack no good thing. I enjoy divine health. My husband and my children enjoy divine health. No weapon formed against us prospers. No weapon fashioned against us prospers. I go from glory to glory. I go from strength to strength. I go from victory to victory. This is the least that I would ever be. The merchandise of the sea is brought to me. I enjoy the treasures and the dark in the mighty name of Jesus. My hands are blessed. Whatever I lay my hands on prospers in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone who curses me is cursed. Those who bless me are blessed. I come into my marital fulfillment. I carry my baby this month. This time around, I will not miscarry. I enjoy promotion on all sides. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. I want to leave us with this word. You have authority to put the devil and his cohorts under your control. But first, you must submit yourself to Jesus. Make sure you're living in obedience to your Lord. And I know that from now on, as you exercise authority over the devil and, the, and his cohorts, you begin to enjoy peace, promotion, and un, un, 
and amazing testimonies in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining us today. I believe you have been blessed and we cannot wait to read from you. God bless you.